Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, my name is Dr. Bell. talking about evolution of computers. Okay, so in 1943, 1944, two University of Pennsylvania professors, John McCauley and J. Pesper Eggert, built the uh, built the uh, built the uh, electronic numeral um, engraved and computer. Considered, considered the godfather of digital computers, they filled a, they filled a 20 foot by 40 foot room and had 18,000 vacuum tubes. In, in 1953, Grace Hopper developed the first computer language, which eventually became known as COBOL. Inventor Thomas J Johnson Watson Jr., son of I, uh, IBM CEO Thomas Johnson Watson Sr., Um, the, uh, the IBM Signal 1 album to help the United Nations keep tabs on Korea during the war. In 1958, Jack, uh, Jack, Jack Kilball and Robert Noyce unveiled the, unveiled the integrated circuit known as the computer chip. In 1964, Douglas, Douglas Emmert showed a prototype of the Mark computer with a mouse and a graphical user interface. This marks the evolution of the computers for a special machine that scientists and mathematicians to, te uh, to technology that is more accessible to the uh, to the public. Then. In 1970, the newly uh, found Intel unveiled the Intel 1103, the first dynamic access RAM, known as e RAM chip. In 1971, Allen led, led a team of IBM engineers who invented the floppy disk, allowed data to be shared among computers. In 1960, in 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wanzi started Apple Computer on April Fool's Day and enrolled out the Apple One. First computer with a single circuit board. In 1977, Radio Shack, Intel um, products ran brand of the TRS-80 was just 3,080 sold like crazy for the first time non geeks could write programs and make a computer do what, who, uh, what they wished. 1977, Steve Jobs and um, Steve Wong uh, incorporate Apple and showed the Apple II at, at the first West Coast Computer Fair. It yeah, offers color, color graphics, and yen incorporates an audio casket drive and storage. And on the left is the Apple One, and on the right is the Apple Two. 1981, the first, the first I IBM personal computer code as Acorn is introduced, it used Microsoft MS-DOS operating system. It has a Intel chip, two floppy disk drives, and optical colored monitor. Sears and Roebuck and computer links sell, sell the machines marked the first time a computer is available through outside distribution it also less the term PC. In 1985, Microsoft announced Windows. It's in response to Apple's GUI. Coordinate unveiled the Yamago uh, 1000, which features advanced audio and video capabilities. And for the video. I get the memo. 
I stumble badly. We do know one thing and one thing only, and that is that they are absolutely addicted to taking their computers and taking their TVs with them. If you're an investor, that's all you need to think about. In the PC industry, I guess is basically struggling to deal with that. They're trying to figure out, okay, well, how do we compete in that mobile right. space? That's right. The PC has never been dead, it never will die. It reverts, we imagine, it moves on. Before the show begins, adjust your sound and focus. Recheck the threading directions on your projector. Consider this. A 2013 smartphone is over 2,200 times faster than NASA's Apollo 11 guidance computer, with over 3 million times the storage memory. Let me take you on a journey. Computers were once the size of rooms, weighing tons. It used to take a day to change a program. Now that's just a double click away. Computers help the impossible become possible, and they still do today. While the world was experiencing one of the most radical changes in its history, two men saw an opportunity. They had a vision. The computer should be for everyone. They made the computer personal, and the legacy lives on. Components began to grow in their capabilities at a rate which had never been seen before in all of humanity's history, and it's still accelerating today. made us instantly connect and interact with the rest of the world for the very first time. Today, we're more connected than ever. The world continued to shrink as every aspect of our lives became digital. Consider this. A 2013 smartphone is 12.5% more powerful than the original Xbox 360. Ever wonder what the pop-up avatar looks like? <laughs> well, bam! There it is. Meh, maybe that's not such a big deal. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. my uh, uh my uh, uh my uh powerpoint 